backhand pass. No look up, and it's on to the stick of Cangelosi coming in. He's got Annis with him in support. Cangelosi drops it for Annis. Annis in the slot. He wrists it, and he puts it in. There's the goal for Sam Annis, who's rung about five off the crossbar of his season. He tucks that one right underneath it, and he ties it up for Youngstown. by Youngstown. McCray with it off the draw. He moves it up to the point there for Tommy Davis. Back to Sweetman to Davis. Davis at the point. Sends a low shot and it sneaks through. Tommy Davis how's that for a goal and the Phantoms break that 0 for 39 skid on the manage. Tommy Davis, goal number one of his USHL career and it couldn't have been a more important tally. Advisable is a quick shot there taken by JT Stangli, and you can just feel the boarding coming off of his shoulders. He ropes it there from the top of the circle and screams and screams, thrilled to get that goal, and he puts the phantom back in front here. Into the corner, now pass up ahead for Matt Nuttle. Nuttle, another feed. He's got it onto the stick there. Sweetman, Sweetman sweeps it toward net. Now drop there and putting it in for Youngstown. That's going to be Luke Stork, and that's going to put the fans back up. Four to three, the score. Luke Stork cashes in. And that is Stork's fourth goal of the year, and huge there for the fans. At the key, he hits Cangelosi. Cangelosi drops it there for Padulo. At the half wall, over to Annis. Annis winding up, sends the slap shot there through traffic, getting a piece of it thrown back in by John Padulo. Goal number one of the season for John Padulo. And the Phantoms take a two goal lead, and they are two for two on the man advantage. And I don't care if that, if Padulo shot it from the circle, that's a dirty goal for it. That was off a rebound. to the boards hard there by Luke Stork. Now it's up for Nuttle. Nuttle, nice feed up ahead for Stangline. Stangline's got some support. Over to Korczynski. Korczynski, low shot, and he beats Isaac Fivehole to get the lead once again. Back and forth and back and forth in this third period. And Todd Korczynski, the latest to put the Phantoms in front. 9.49 left. 